This is episode zero of my modular journey. I started looking into modular synthesis maybe a couple of years ago, uh, but I never really got interested, like really hooked, until I discovered uh, this magnificent thing called generative music. And I mean, I've, I've known about generative for decades because, of course, who doesn't know music for airports? But uh, I didn't understand it in the way that it's being used today. And, and that is these walls of modular synthesizers uh, with, with patch cables. And, and I'm telling you, I got pretty hooked pretty quick. So this series of videos uh, is really me kind of documenting my exploration into modular from the first purchase to the last Although I don't know if there ever will be a last, but I'm hoping at least for now <laughs> that I've that I've reached the end. Because you know, as you're building your modular, things just come up, right? You're you're sitting there and you're patching something and, and you, you start thinking, oh man, if I only had one more LFO, or if I had just one more filter. That's kind of what happened to me. I started with, you know, hey, I can do generative music with four modules. I mean I did. I did do generative kind of generative stuff with just a couple of modules, but it wasn't it wasn't the goal that I have in mind, of course. So, um, and that's what these episodes coming up are going to show. They're going to show what did I buy on day one, why did I choose what I chose, and how do I plan to use it. Um, I'm not going to do any tutorials. I'm not going to do. Uh, like here's my great my grand advice because believe me you should not listen to me uh, if you're here watching these great but don't take my word for anything <laughs> do your own research uh, because that's really the uh, this is a very unique experience I think for everybody while I'm not here to teach anybody anything the one lesson I can definitely hand down to anybody starting this is n know your goal have an idea what you're what you're doing this for. Uh, do you want to make ambient music? Do you want to make uh, techno music? Do you want to just make noise? Do you want to? Are you are you a sound designer? Some of my own personal goals, as I mentioned, were uh, ambient music. Uh, trying to dabble with techno. I'm not really a techno guy, but I, I figured since I'm going down this journey, I might uh, I might try some of that out because it could be a new a new direction for me or a different direction anyway, something I've never tried before. What my background has been is been you know uh, rock and roll, uh, rock or pop or prog rock, pro progressive rock, and I mean the actual progressive rock, not the weird stuff you hear today. But there there's some of the things that I've done with with this rack, like when I first got marbles, for instance. Some of the things I, I did with that uh, was was pretty hilarious. Hey, I just figured out how Yes writes all their music. And and the other the other goal with this uh, with this modular is not so much to just be a purist. Like there's a lot of people that want to live inside this box, but I don't want to live in the modular. I want to go out into my keyboards. I want to go out into my computer, my DAW. Uh, I want to be able to uh, to do other things with it. So that's why I have MIDI interfaces. I have a, a MIDI interface here. I have one over there in the sequencer rack. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. Sequencer rack and uh, you know where where Symphonian and NerdSec goes. Uh, I have a Poly two over there that I because you know I wanted to do a multi channel MIDI uh, into and out of the rack. So uh, again, I'm not really a purist, uh, and I am definitely a newbie. So I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if what I want to do is possible. But that's the adventure, and that's the thing I'm going to be documenting over these uh, these next thirty videos. Anyway, it's it's going to be a fun journey. It already has been. I've probably had more fun in the last couple of months than I've had in the last 10 years uh, making music, making noise. So that's it for episode zero, my lengthy introduction to my, to my journey, my modular journey. Uh, if you stick with me, thank you for taking the time to listen, and we'll see you in the next one.